Hi, this is Miss Cindy, and um, this video is actually being recorded. I started this in August because it's a big project that I'm working on. However, you won't get to see it until after Christmas because I'm doing Christmas gifts. So I hope everyone had a happy holiday and a happy, healthy new year. Uh, last year, I did some decoupage and acrylic coasters uh, for friends and family for Christmas gifts. And it was the first time I've actually given uh, Chris, uh, Christmas gifts that were crafts. But I wasn't going out shopping and whatnot, and I got into the acrylic pour. So anyway, they went over very well. So I said, what can I do this year, since everybody liked the, the crafts last year, and I even got some orders, what could I do this year that everybody needs, you know, in the household? And I came up with tissue boxes, because I've done tissue box covers before where I've painted them, and decorated them and I've sold those. But this year I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Everybody needs tissues. I'm going to do a miniature scene on the side of a tissue box and see how that worked. Like I said, uh, this is a lot of work. I'm, I'm used to doing, uh, working with miniatures. I work on the 112 scale. I've done doll houses and things like that. This is gonna be a smaller scene instead of a room or a house. So it's gonna be challenging, but um, I did pretty good. So this video is actually gonna be a parade of all of the miniature tissue boxes that I've done for Christmas gifts. So uh, this is the big box. This one I get from Hobby Lobby. And in order to get my scene, I had to cut a piece of wood and I glued that on there. So there's my foundation. So you will see that my miniature will my miniature scene will be on here. And then these I get from Michaels. And these are the small ones. And what I did was I pulled these out and then I put a, a thin dowel there as a bumper. So the box still stays in, but your miniature scene won't push back. It'll, it'll stop at a certain point. So I had to come up with that clever contraption. But anyway, uh, this is all, all of this is, is imagination. That you can do this with the kids, uh, your husband, boyfriend, anybody can decorate a tissue box. Now what I wanted to do for these particular ones is I really wanted them to be humorous because there are a couple of funny stories um, during the pandemic with people being shut in. But when I started making my list of friends and family, everybody couldn't be humorous. Um, so I had to just play it, play it one by one. The other thing is you have to always, when you're working with miniature, make sure you have the right scale. I'm used to using a 112 scale. So whatever the theme it was that I was building my scene around, which would be something that the person really likes or something that they're into, um, whatever scale that was, I would have to build the scene in that scale. So I've used 112, uh, 187, uh, one, I think 148 and 172. So that's most important to make things look realistic is to make sure whatever the theme you're gonna start with, make sure the whole scene is in that scale. So let's go check out all of the work that I've been doing for the past four months. This is the box that started it all. I have a very good friend that I've known for years. She's in her 70s and she lives down south. And when the pandemic first started and um, we got caught off guard with the toilet paper, uh, she was she was in a, a little panic because she couldn't find any. And she only had a few rolls left. So uh, what we did was my son bought a big case and he split it amongst the family. And what I did was I packed some up and I, you know, shipped it down to her and she got it. So when it opened up and she was able to go to stores and buy, uh, you know, they were limited amount, she went all over town and she got her limited amount. So we laughed about this because now she has a laundry room and a bathroom full of toilet paper. And her saying is, uh, she may not be able to eat, but she's definitely be able to wipe her you know what. So the first box is, as you can see, you know who's the name of it. All my boxes have the name or their initial on one side and then the scene on the other side. This way they can display it either way. And I also found some 
boxes that I ordered to actually pack them in and they fit perfectly even with the scene on the front uh, laid out. So this one, this first one is for a good friend. And the thing behind this one was she has a garden and it really took off during the pandemic. And uh, she ordered that sign from Amazon. So when she sent me a picture of it, I figured I was gonna go ahead and do a garden scene for her. The next one is for another good friend and she loves roses. Uh, this wouldn't, wouldn't be a funny one. This would be pretty serious, but she loves roses. So I went ahead and did her, her own rose garden. Now this one, the background is decoupaged uh, and it has the coasters that I did last year. So this is a matching set for her. This one is for another uh, co-worker of mine. And this is our IT guy. And since we've been home for about a year and a half uh, working remote, and he's really had his hands full because when we had problems, we were going into the office. It wasn't so easy for him to walk over to the desk. So I figured I'd go ahead and make one for him because he's really helped me out this year. Uh, this wasn't very easy to do. As you can see, I wanted to get like a scene from an office and I had to make that chair because those miniature chairs are expensive. So I did make the chair and a lot of printables I used that you can get online uh, for his screen. And then I sent him a text and we were talking about kids. He's always asking about my grandkids and I'm always asking about his kids. And he sent me a couple of pictures of his kids. So I just downsized those and put them in little frames that sit on his desk. My next one is a pretty uh, simple, but matches uh, this another good friend's home. And he likes the Egyptian decor like I do. So I made his pretty simple, it matches his living room, and he has the pyramid. And this one here I purchased, and that's what this thing was about. This is uh, uh, wood that's cut into the shape of a pyramid, but I thought this was just so beautiful that I went ahead and, and did this one for him. This one is also for another good friend, and the story behind this one, which was pretty funny, is that her best, her favorite hamburger is Crystal's down here in Florida. Well, we had White Castle finally come to Florida uh, a few months ago. And, you know, that was the big thing because a lot of people come from up north, they're always talking about the White Castle hamburger. Well, we didn't know Crystal from New York, and they didn't know White Castle down here. So anyway, she waited for about three weeks after they opened up because it was real busy, and she went to try it out. She was so excited about getting these White Castle hamburgers that she heard so much about. Anyway, when she got there, she said it was out of control. Uh, she waited in line in her car in the drive through for two hours. And then when she finally got her order, she got it home. Uh, she was very upset because it did not have mustard. White Castle doesn't come with mustard. So when she told me how upset she was about, about it, I laughed. First of all, I'm not waiting in two lines for no burger for anybody. I don't care who it is. But anyway, I thought it would be funny to make her a box that is a uh, White Castle hamburger versus Crystal hamburger. And there's her little ketchup, uh, I'm sorry, mustard bottle in the middle. And this I used was just a crayon. Yeah, you can make the, cut the little bottles and, and paint them yellow or fill them with yellow fluid, but I went ahead and just used the top of a crayon. So I thought that was pretty creative. Then her mother uh, knows I do a lot of crafts and she wanted to know if I would make her a, a big wreath for Christmas, a Christmas wreath that she could hang in the living room. And I told her I didn't do wreaths. So instead, just to su surprise her, I went ahead and did a wreath tissue box cover and the little note in there read that this is as big as my reefs get. Okay, next up is another good friend and another good uh, co-worker. Uh, this one I really don't need to explain to you uh, what the theme is. I think you get it when you turn it around. But this is what her addiction is. And that's these beautiful stiletto shoes. 
And I had to search online for these because you can find miniature doll uh, dollhouse shoes, but not in the st stiletto with the heels. So I did find those. And this is just supposed to be her closet because trust me, this is what her closet looks like. It's full of shoes. You know, when we go somewhere, you know, I feel like a midget next to her because them heels are like three, four, five inches tall. But anyway, I thought this was fun to make and I had a good time making this one. <laughs> The next three, I think, are going to be the sports ones. This is another good friend of mine. And as you can see, he's into the bears. So I just made a bear scene. And once again, this back is decoupage. And I made coasters for him last year with that print. So those should match. My next one is for a neighbor. And this man, bought, he grills hamburgers at least once a week, <laughs> and they smell so good. But uh, this is also a sports theme. This is the New York Yankees, which I did for him. But I had to make sure I incorporated hamburgers in there because he is a hamburger fiend. My next one is for another good friend. And he is addicted to coffee. So it doesn't matter what time of day it is, he's going to be drinking coffee. So I made coasters for him last year with a coffee theme. And this year I went ahead and used that same print as the background for this one. The next one, um, I there are three kids that I always buy Christmas gifts for and birthday gifts for other than my three grandkids. And this is the oldest son and he started high school and he made the football team. So, and he's real proud of that. So I wanted to make him the uh, a football tissue box cover. And there he goes to Lake Brantley, but I had to order this helmet, which is a little bit big, only because I couldn't find um, their logo for the high school without having any of a um, writing on it. They do have it for the Patriots, but I wanted one just for the high school, so that's his. And then, this is for his little sister. And I don't think I need to tell you what her theme was, but she's all into this Dora. And I did hers a little bit different. I didn't give her a scene. Instead, I wanted to give her something educational because she's only four. So what I did was, uh, this was uh, pretty creative too. I got some the large popsicle sticks and I made dividers to hold these books. So I got a set of the Dora Explorer books and her age, uh, age, you know, range, so that she can go ahead and when she wants to read them, she can open this up. This is with Velcro. It's just a ribbon with Velcro. She can read her books. And then when she's finished, she can put them back. They're not all around the house. They're in a nice spot. And this still opens up so she can still, the tissue boxes can be changed. The next three boxes are for my uh, granddaughters, um, Catalina, Jalisa, and Ariana. And this I wanted to make fun. And that's only because around... Right after Halloween, I'm usually making uh, Halloween costumes. Right after Halloween, I tell them to give me their Christmas list. So, you know, they have to put a couple of things on a list, give it to Grandma. And then uh, me and my son and my daughter, daughter-in-law, we all split it up so that they get pretty much what they want for Christmas. Well, during the pandemic, uh, they didn't know what they wanted for Christmas. And, and Grandma was getting close to that deadline because Grandma's not going out in the street. So anyway, I told them if they didn't tell me what they wanted, then Grandma was going to get her own gift for Christmas. So anyway, I got a list real quick. And they all happened to want this little handheld game, this uh, like, you know, the Pac-Man and Galaga, these, these little handheld electronic games. And I was able to find the games. So for these boxes, I went to see if I can find the same theme of those games in, in, um, in miniatures. And actually I did. I found keychains. Now this is a smaller scale. This is not the one the tw one twelfth scale. I found keychains 
And I found them in all three of the games, which was Pac-Man, Galaga, and Space Inv Invaders that I got them. And these, uh, they actually light up and they make the little sound of the game. Uh, so that worked out pretty good. And that's pretty basic for them. They can keep them in the dresses in the bedroom. But I was just very happy that I, can, I was able to find that theme for all three girls. Um, the next one is this is for my son and he is a Star Wars fanatic and he's been collecting Star Wars memorabilia since Star Wars came out so you know that's a whole lot of years but anyway his favorite character is the stormtrooper so every year for Christmas we're trying to find something with stormtrooper theme for him so that he doesn't have the same thing twice and he's got everything hats uh, pajamas, underwear, slippers, t-shirts. He's got it all. But he doesn't have a t Stormtrooper tissue box. So this one I made for him. And these are also keychains, but these are LED keychains, so they light up too. I haven't pulled the tabs out because I didn't want the batteries to run down, but these these make the sounds of the, the lasers. The eyes light up. And then I found... Little flashing light that hooks on there. So this is going to be bright and noisy uh, for my son, for the Stormtrooper. And these are his favorite movies, anything with the Stormtroopers. But my favorite one was when the Ewoks came out. So I made a little tiny Ewok to go up there in the tree. So this one I really had a lot of fun doing too. And this is something that he doesn't have. Okay, last but not least, <laughs> all my big boys. Uh, these are my big boys, not only because the tissue box is larger, but these took a lot because I had to make sure I did a seam to cover the whole side of the box. So these took a lot of uh, imagination and creativity, um, a lot of waiting time because there was a couple of things I had to like the theme I would have to order. But uh, these, like I said, these are my big boys and these are the last ones. And this first one is for a good friend up north that I went to college with, and we've been friends ever since. And during the pandemic, she was just, her thing was she was working, but her thing was she couldn't go to the beach. She couldn't enjoy going to the beach like she used to and sit in the sun and just relax. So this one, I tried to bring the beach to her. So I had a good time making this one because a lot of this stuff I had to make from hand. Um, but I think it captures the beach scene and I, I hope she enjoys it. The next one is also a good friend. And during the pandemic, you know, prior to pandemic, you know, we used to visit each other and we talk on the phone and I see her and during the pandemic, I wanted to know, you know, what is she doing or not doing? And she said the one thing that she missed was she couldn't. Uh, drive her bike so when she said drive a bike I thought she meant bicycle she couldn't go bicycling but come to find out this friend of mine actually has a motorcycle and she drives with a women's motorcycle uh, club so when I found that out I said oh well you know I'm interested uh, send me some pictures so I had to send me some pictures of her and she didn't know what I was using them for but I already knew what her thing was going to be so there is her ninja motorcycle, which is actually, this is a replica of her real motorcycle, color and everything, but I couldn't get this in scale in the United States. So this I had to order from Japan. And then, you know, there's, those are pictures of her uh, traveling with her club. So this one I know was gonna be a surprise because I know she didn't know why I wanted her pictures, but this is what I wanted to do with this one. Okay, next, there's three kids that I told you I bought uh, Christmas gifts for. This is the third one. This is the daughter, the oldest daughter, and she plays softball. And she's real tough, too. I understand she's very, very good. She takes it seriously. So for her, I wanted to do a softball theme. And the theme was trying to do a dugout. Uh, I think this was my most challenging because I had to build... Uh, the bench, 
the fence, I bought some very thin wiring to make the fence, but uh, this took a lot of creativity and a lot of measuring and trying to get the colors right and get everything in a dugout. So this one I was really, really pleased with because this one came out good. You know, when people see this, they always say, oh my God, you made the cooler with the Gatorade. So I'm real happy with this one. I'm actually happy with all of them, but this one here really took, I would say this took the longest to do to make sure that this was in right and scale and, you know, really represented what a dugout looked like. This one here is for my uh, grandkids uh, teacher and she is into the dog agility training. So I knew exactly what I was gonna do for her. This is her own dog agility park. I thought this was, this was pretty cute too. Um, this was very creative because a lot of this is just dowels and these are actually wood rings that people use for embellishments that I was able to make for the rings that the dogs jump through. So I had some fun with that one. This one, I would say was the second hardest. And BBC is not the name of a person, but the name of my son's uh, trucking company. He opened up, uh, he started his trucking business during the pandemic. And believe me, it wasn't easy. It was hard and it's still hard because it's just the first year. But he was so proud that he got his Peterbilt truck. And <laughs> the first few months, it's like every time we turned around, he had a flat tire. <laughs> so. So, for his, I incorporated, now this is on a miniature, very miniature scale. Um, this is like a 178, 187. These are like railroad. And I made sure I had tires in here, the tire store, because that's the joke about this. Every time we turn around, this truck had a, a, a tire, a flat tire. But anyway, um, there's his actual truck. And then... His favorite car that he said he wants to get before he leaves this earth is, I believe it's the Nissan GTR or something like that. It was in Fast and Furious. So to get it on this scale, to go with this scene, I also had to get this from Japan. And then also he has a little white uh, pit bull, Stella, who's just as cute and spoiled and just as sweet as she wants to be. So I was able to actually find a tiny, tiny, miniature pit bull so that's for him and last but not least i make a lot of stuff for a lot of people but i never make it for myself i did all of those coasters last year and i do not have a set of coasters in this house so i said when i did these boxes i'm going to do one for me in my bedroom i'm also i'm into the egyptian thing which you know but my signature is making pyramids uh painting whether it's acrylic pour or just hand painting. I love doing pyramids. So I did an experiment on this one and I figured if I messed it up, it's okay because it's my box. But I actually did an acrylic pour on a tissue box cover. And that's using the, the acrylic pour, the dirty cut pour, and using silicone so I can get the cells. And I searched and I searched because I have these Anubis statues in my living room and they're like 15 inches high. So I wanted to see if I can find them small and sure enough, I was able to find miniatures. So that's my tissue box. Anyway, that's about all of them. It's a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you get a chance, please subscribe to the station. And for this particular video, Send me a comment, drop a comment down there and tell me which was your favorite box. Thank you and have a great day. Uh, sorry guys, there is uh, one more that I did after the fact and this was definitely the hardest one um, because I had to do this from scratch and this is something I've never tackled before. But anyway, uh, this is for my maintenance guy right here in the complex. Um, that crew too was jumping during the pandemic, uh, pandemic and he's done some work at my house and, you know, and I, you know, we talk and I say, you know, what's his hobbies or crafts or, you know, what's his likes, dislikes, uh, 
And I couldn't get anything out of him except for his favorite color is red. So I watched these carts running around this complex for about a month. And I said, I'm going to see if I can actually duplicate a golf cart and build one. So this is my first and last vehicle. Um, this was pretty, it was challenging, but it was fun to do. I just wanted to make sure it looked like a golf cart. <laughs> and I've got a couple opinions. And yes, people say it looks definitely like their golf cart. So this was the last one. Um, yes, definitely the most challenging, but I believe I pulled it off. Now everyone can have a great day.